Hello there and welcome. My name is Shane Olson and today I want to show you how to customize the ZBrush user interface. Are you ready? Let's do it. So we're here in ZBrush and we're looking at my custom user interface that I've made for ZBrush and I realize that not everybody wants to use my custom interface and I want to show you how you can tweak it to your exact whatever you need to do with with your ZBrush. It's really simple to do. It's just not a lot of people know how to do it. I'm going to show you how. So uh, the first thing you need to do is all you have to do is go to preferences right here, go to config and then click on this enable customize. That's the biggest thing you need to do. And you'll see this top kind of shift down. That's when you know you're in enable customize mode, okay? Now, the only thing you need to do after that is hold down control plus alt or command if you're on an Apple, and then you can move this stuff around. It's really easy, like these little things down here, control plus alt, then you can drag these around like so, okay? Now, if, what if you wanna add more things or remove some things? It's really, really easy. All you have to do again, control plus alt or command and drag it out into the middle canvas and let go and it goes away. And you're like, oh crap, what did I do? I lost the thing that was here. How do I get it back? This is the coolest thing is when I was learning ZBrush and I was starting to make my own custom user interface and I have to reach out and say thank you to Danny Williams, my good friend Danny, who um, he goes by Point Pusher. He's the one who showed me how customizable ZBrush can be. And I've gone through and I've made my own custom brush icons and all sorts of stuff. But one of the easiest ways to learn ZBrush and what it can do is by making your own custom user interface or tweaking one that's available. And it really helps you learn. So if you go through these different menus, you can kind of see as they pop up what things you have available to you. But maybe you might not know what these things do. Well, there's a little secret. And you can come down here and hold control and this little uh, tool tip will pop up under or to the right of every single one of these and it will tell you exactly what that thing does and if you'll also notice there's a button path it says button path dynamics and inflate so it's under the dynamics menu inflate and if you're out here on a custom user interface that you've downloaded before from somewhere else and you you want to know where did they find that thing like accucurve where is accucurve you can hold down control look at the button path it's under brush curve accu curve so we can go up to the brush menu and then down to curve and voila accu curve right here if i wanted to grab something out of this menu let's say this depth oh that's the thing that i lost so let's grab control plus alt drag this thing back here and you'll see the white outline and i can shift this a little bit to the left or to the right it doesn't matter where you drop it as long as you drop it the same all the way down so if just choose either the left or the right to drop all your buttons and then it'll be aligned really nicely okay and that's essentially all you have to do to edit your user interface and it's super easy i want to show you one more little thing if you're on a laptop and your buttons are hidden there's one thing you can do to show or display more of the buttons okay um but before that, if you're done customizing your user interface, all you have to do to save it is go back to preferences and then turn off enable customize and then click on this store config. I'm not going to do it right now, but this is where you can store your configuration. Now, if you want to save this user interface and share it with other people, you can save it right here. Or if you want to load one that you've downloaded, like mine, that you can get from 3dcharacterworkshop.com, I give this one away for free. You can go get it. The link is down in the description. If you mess up, don't worry about it. You can always either go to Restore Custom or Restore Standard. Okay, Restore Custom is if you have a user interface that you like, that you've stored config, and something is wrong or you've changed something, if you lost a button, all you have to do is hit Restore Custom UI and we're good to go or restore the standard and that will reset it back to what ZBrush ships with, okay? Now, to, sh to sh shrink the buttons down, if you're on a laptop and say you can't see these buttons over here or these over here, you're just too cramped in your space, there is something you can do that I don't talk about too much. Go to Preferences, 
go to interface and then under UI, there's this thing called button size. And you can see it says 48 right now. You can grab that and scroll it to the left. And then when you let go, it'll say, hey, you have to restart this in order for this to take effect. And you can restart ZBrush. I don't think you have to hit store config, but you can if you'd like shut down ZBrush, open it back up and look at your interface button size and it should be smaller and more compact and fit your laptop better. Okay, and that's it for this, this episode. It's really quick, it's really easy. Um, yeah, have fun customizing your user interface. That's all there is to it. All right, so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.